What's up guys? In this video, I will show you how to create a simple pagination feature in React. So let's get started. First of all, we need to create a new React app. So for this, I will be using Vite to create a new project. So just copy and paste the following command and let's navigate to some directory. I am inside react-pagination folder and I am going to open my command prompt and paste in the command that I have just copied to create a new project. Now it is asking for the project name so I will call it react pagination and here I will pick react as a framework. So now our project has been created. Next we just need to navigate into the react pagination folder and run npm install to install the required dependencies like react and react dom. So as you can see my installation has been completed. Next I will close the terminal, go inside the project directory and open it inside vs code. Let's open the terminal inside VS Code using Ctrl plus backticks and let's run our project to see if everything is fine. So to run a React app that uses Vite, we need to write the command as npm run dev to start the application. So as you can see that the app is working good and here we have our default React app showing with a counter functionality. Now everything is fine. But I want to change the port number where our react application is running. So by default it is using port 5173 and I want to change it to port 3000. So let's open v.config.js file and add server object with port as key and 3000 as value. Now you can see that the port has been changed in real time without rerunning the project. Now in order to create our own app we need to change the app.js file. So in the src folder you will find app.js and this is the file that is responsible for what you are seeing right now in the browser. So I will remove everything here in the return and add a simple div with react pagination as text inside it. And also I will remove the counter state as we don't need that anymore. I will also remove everything from the app.css file and in the index.css which is the global CSS file, I will remove everything and add a root styling of padding and margin set to zero. So to create a pagination feature, I will need some data. So for that I will be using a dummy API of some blog posts. Now you can easily find this API by going to a search engine and by typing json placeholder, you will find the first website. Here you can see that I have given some get routes to get some dummy data. I will be using the posts route to get dummy blog posts for now. So as you can see that it is also working and I will be getting posts if I visit slash posts route of this URL. So let's copy and paste this URL in our VS code as comment as I will be needing it in a moment. Now let's create a state variable as posts which will store our posts as an array of objects and let's use the use effect hook to fetch the posts data. Inside the fetch method, I will pass this URL that I have just copied to make a get request to our dummy posts. Finally, I will set the posts to the data state. And now to print the posts, I will create a posts component and pass our posts as props to this component. Now in the posts component, I will accept the posts and return posts using our map method. Let's print the title and description from each post and use id as a key. And note that I am using some classes for styling. So in this video I will not focus on styling but on the actual logic of using pagination in react. 
However, I will copy and paste the styles and you will find all the code in the description below. So far we have created a new project, fetched the post data and using the data we have created a posts component and displayed all the posts with title and description using map method. So let's see what we are getting so far but before that let's import the posts component. So as you can see that all the posts are showing in the browser but I want a loading text to show up while fetching is not completed. So I will create a loading state and set the initial value to false. Now let's change the state to true before fetching and after fetching set it back to false. And in the posts component will show the loading text if loading is true. I will also give it some basic styling. Now as you can see that our loading is working. Next let's add the styling in the app.css file and now as you can see that our posts are looking very realistic except they don't consist of images and author like in a real posts we have them. But you can do that very easily and as I said that this video is just focused to help you understand pagination. Now as you can see that I have used a special poppins font from google fonts in my app.css. To use this you can just go to google fonts and select poppins and copy and paste the css and add it to your styles and use the given font family to style your elements. I hope you got it. So now we have everything set up, just need to add pagination. Now to display only few items on the screen, we have to define some states. So I will define current page state and set it equal to 1 and also a posts per page state and set it equal to 6 for now. Now it is the important part where we have to get current posts. So for this I will get the index of last post which will be current page multiplied by posts per page and index of first post which will be of course index of last post multiplied by posts per page. Now the current posts will be posts dot slice index of first post comma index of last posts. So now we have current posts set up. We just need to pass this instead of posts to our posts component. And in this way it will only show the first 6 posts from the API. Also let's create a paginate function to change the page by just updating set current page to the parameter pass to paginate. Now we can use pagination to go through rest of the pages. And this is how simple it is. So we just need to create a pagination component and pass posts per page, total posts and paginate function to it. Then in the pagination component we need to accept the props and use a for loop to create array of pages using the mathematical expression which is very easy to understand and it is just to get the total posts and then divide it by posts per page to get the number of pages. Next we need to create an active page state and set the initial value to 1. Now we can use map method to loop over page numbers. And finally apply a click listener to each page number to set the active page to that number and to call the paginate function with that number which will help us to get current posts with respect to that page. Now as you can see that our pagination works but we can make it more attractive by applying an active class. So it is very simple we just need to apply dynamic style to our li by checking if active page is equal to the page number we are trying to click and if it is then we are applying the active class otherwise we are not giving it any special style. So now as you can see we have successfully created our fully working react pagination. Now it's up to you how many posts you want to display at a time. And note that it is very dynamic that our page numbers are also affecting by changing the number of posts per page. And this is what we are expecting. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to get the source code of this project, click the first link in the description and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.